Yeah, yeah so yeah. so my my goal for you next week would be or this week would be you know paint 15 minutes a day and it can paint, paint something that I would really recommend that you paint something from life. Now we're working from photos or from other paintings so we're all kind of working from the same thing. But when you paint from life the Either that or photos are what you're going to do in journaling. But if, if you're sitting at a table and you have a cute little mug or you want to do your glasses case or whatever, or, or a book you're reading, I've done, I've drawn pictures of books I'm reading. I just whatever that you're, what, what's happening in your life at the time, just do a little sketch. 15 minutes. And it can be on a single sheet or it could be in your journal. You could write about what you were doing or not. You can do... You can, you know, you can do flowers too. Some of you mentioned flowers. Um, I was doing that waiting in a waiting at airport. Uh, Did you do it from a photo? Oh yeah, I was in an airport, so I didn't have flowers. Flowers handy. Oh, here was here was one that had a variety of trees. So take what we did today with the the loose paintings in the distance. And that one also has trees, but a little different. But notice that that's cooler mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and warmer colors up front. Um, so, you can you go back to the other tree one? Hmm? Do you have a in there? I do. Can, before you flip, can we go back to the okay. other tree one? That cemetery, that, remember the, the charred forest um, that I showed you? I picked up a piece oh, of charcoal. Yeah. And I did the, there's a rock house that I drew that in charcoal. That was the charcoal I drew, picked up. Yeah, and this is the cemetery from one of the places. What's the big cemetery places. here, Lincoln, Rose Hill? Mm-hmm. That's that one of them. Can I get those trees real Wouldn't that quick. be a place to do I love that. plein air? Oh, that'd be a really good place. Oh, yeah. We could go to the cemetery. Tombstones. I know. Ooh. So you'd have shadows. Right. and And if you didn't want to do the, 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 the head headstone, whatever, you could... Um, you could do the trees yeah. that are around there. Really cool. Yeah. Markers, angels, and oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And lambs and angels. I know those are sweet. And, and isn't there plenty of landscaping too? Yeah. To do, so. mm -hmm. That's a great idea. Try okay, so uh, I'll look at my calendar and how are Fridays for y'all? Mostly good. Pretty good. So, um, you know, I prefer. See, here's another sky. That's a great sky, Ooh, and yeah. very very little in the in the landscape. But these Ooh. I did with a teeny tiny tip of the brush. Um, Can we take a picture of that one? Yeah, but I'll I'll pass it around. But let, let's let's do the palm tree real quick, um, and then y'all can stay and take pictures if you want. Okay, so here's my palm tree. Here's my new uh, now. Probably the palm tree wouldn't be. You know, this close to the, I don't know, depends on where you are. Some palm trees are right on the ocean. Yeah. But I'm going to just paint it off the edge to show that the palm tree is closer to me. So I want it a variety of colors. I don't want to use the black. So I'm going to go up here to my colors. And I'm going to pick the brown, which is the fourth one over. I kind of probably need, well, that's green. So I'm going to just add, I'm going to add some dark green to this. That's two too greeny greeny. I want some uh, more of an olive green. I'm going to add some olive green. Have you rearranged your thing? Oh, I just have an extra row. Oh, okay. I got you. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> well, I was, I was experimenting. I was experimenting. You're expensive. Yeah, those are, those are my... Yeah, so I'm taking a dark green, a olive green, and a brown and the burnt sienna kind of you see how there's just kind of a mod podge mixture it's not totally mixed mm -hmm. and I'm gonna this is where I'm gonna paint without drawing first so I'm gonna pick up some I might even pick up a little bit of the dark brown to go in there so I'm gonna just start over here where I know is dry and I'm gonna start laying in the trunk of my tree and I'm gonna realize alright right now that I think my water is too dark and it's going to show through so I'm going to have to come back and layer my my trunk heavier now that might work because the it kind of wiped out the blue but I want it much darker than that mm -hmm. so I'm going to just load my brush with the brown and the green at the same time Ooh, that's way 
way darker than I wanted, but that's okay it, for right now. So I want it darker. See, that's, that's okay. I added enough. When you add enough brown to the green, it's not so glary green. So I want some of the, turn my point out. I want some of that to stick out. I want, yes, yeah, add some of the points here. You notice I'm turning my brush, mm -hmm. or I could turn my, my paper and I'm going to go ahead and fill this in down here. It's fairly, this part of the trunk was fairly straight. Okay, so I'm going to come up, kind of to create the top of the tree. And this is where you do the little spidery things that are skinny. Go in all different directions. Some, some need to go up because it's going away from you. And that one got a little heavy, but oh, that's okay. And then I'm going to come back, load my brush with uh, the dark brown and the in the green, and uh, and I'm going to I got to change glasses. Sorry, mm, prism glasses. Yes, when I'm working up close, I can't. My bifocals just don't want to don't want to show me what's what's clear. Okay, I started too close to the base. Remember, I wanted to leave a little space to show the skeletal parts. Oh. So again, you just do what we practiced, and uh, I'm barely touching the barely touching the paper to get some of those skinny lines. Some of them are going to come toward me. I want more paint on my brush. And you're taking this right out of your palette. You're not using your puddle. Right. What did you use the puddle for? The first part of the trunk. Uh huh. Just to lay it in because oh. I didn't want it necessarily too too thick. Barely touching. This should help for Florida. You know, when we go down to Florida, uh, so, some of us are going to go to the, the plein air, coast. forgotten coast. And you know, whatever is is behind your tree, whether it's in clouds or, or uh, if you're painting right over the. Oh, that's some of that's too thick. See, I got in a hurry and getting mm -hmm. a little thick. So come back with a little skinnier. You can change, you know, pick, picking up different colors. Mm -hmm. To me, just adds a little variety. And you all, you know, if you've been down, oh, that's a little mm -hmm. way, way too different color. But mm -hmm. I'm going to just blur it out a little bit. And because some are kind of blurry and soft. And yeah. Some are sharp. And some of them have a lot, and I'll just kind of mess that up. Um, some have a lot of brown in them. Uh, kind of, they're, they're dead. Uh, mm. There's always mm -hmm. one of those. Mm -hmm. you just want to You're right. So, yeah, go with the first one I did better than the, this one. But again, it's hard to paint and talk at the same time. <laughs> I'm sure it is. <laughs> but that still gives me a feel of a place. Yes. So, this one's a little, little less intense paint, a little easier to control. Yeah. And if I wanted, if I wanted to indicate, uh, you know, some some land off in the distance, I could add. I could have added that first. But I would, if I wanted to paint this, I would definitely paint this before you paint the tree. I just ended the up, you, yeah, but if you wanted land, oh, like I here, see. and this is a, a harbor area, and the the bridge would be very pale because it's farther away. So, so. It, we won't put a bridge in on this one? No. Okay. No, I didn't, I didn't plan for that. My, my water line was way too high, and... If I'd have put the, the bridge and stuff in, I mean, I could have, I guess. But, you know, I get distracted. Does that happen to you? <laughs> yeah, and we're asking you all kind of irritating uh, questions. When and then I go in different directions. That you know, pra I'll practice skies, practice trees. I don't pra know how I'm going to practice skies. I guess I'll have to get some pictures. Because I think you're right. When when you it, I I promise you I do way better when I look at something than when I try to do it out of my head. Yes. Because when I do it out of my head, you end up going, you end up 
see doing it in a pattern and it it doesn't look um, natural natural and and you know variety is the spice of life one of my teachers Marcia Savage she'd look at my trunks of the trees and like they were all the same width and they were all the same space apart and it was like mm-hmm ah. I said, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because, but, but then if I, a lot of it is observation. And so, so you have to look at stuff. So when, when the clouds break from all this rain and, and you get to go out and look at clouds, take pictures of them, and just see the different shapes that they are. And, uh, but it's so much easier to paint clouds looking at a photo than, than in your head. You, I end up doing the kindergarten poofy cotton ball variety or they all look the same shape or I repeat the same shape unintentionally but you know try and do a I would say do a couple of uh, landscapes where you're just trying to put in a distant hill or a distant you know like like this this is distant so you have sky Mid-ground, foreground. Okay, so for those of us, am I the only one that's going to need a picture? Can y'all just do that? We're just not no. saying out loud. No, I'd love <laughs> to work from a reference photo. Okay, see so me flip the pages and show you some, and you can pause on the video. Well, I'm I think sure. I have some of yours, but I feel so bad copying. No, I don't mind. That's, I mean, see, like How this one. Learn. Here's a field that was covered in snow. This, all of this was shadows. Ooh, let me get that. And, uh. That's beautiful. You know, so then you have the distant hill and then the tree. Okay, this is, now this has a building. We'll work with buildings some next week. Uh, but the distant trees are just pretty much a blur. Mm -hmm. And then you, lay, then, then you put in your uh, branches and trunks when it's dry. Wait, could you go back? Sorry, I didn't get it. Thank you. How All does right. that do from there, Hillary? I'm zooming. Okay. Oh, I love and that the, bird. And the bird. He's so cool. It's kind of cool. Um, I have a, here. Let me go to these. These are a little bigger. Like this one, this was Callaway, around Callaway Gardens. So see how blurred that is? That's the distant, uh, Peel uh, from the the lake, and then I just had little ripples to indicate the water, mm -hmm. and the, a little bit of reflection of the trees. You know, it'd be fun to do in the spring is take bikes to Callaway or red bikes to Callaway and ride around with our paints. That was a poppy field in mm -hmm. Fredericksburg. Oh, that's uh, Fredericksburg in October in in, in March. It? I mean in April. It's beautiful. And that's How wet on wet. Uh -huh. You did that in oils. Really? Oh, here's your bird. There he is. There's a bird. Oh, that's gorgeous. Gosh. Now this one I drew first, painted around. Uh huh. Saved your white. Saved your white. Yeah, and then you do the little ripples. Uh, I think I even saved some of the white on the ripples, and then I've added. I don't think there. I don't know yeah. that there's any pen on that one. Yeah, now I'm, see, I'm getting the lights reflected in there. You're not getting that, Hillary, in your picture? No. Maybe it's okay. the I'll angle line. Okay, just come around. Maybe I'll it's the angle I'm at versus the angle. I'm just going to look at it on the video. Oh, I never think to go back at this. So you send a video? It's on YouTube. It's on, YouTube. It's on her YouTube channel. So There's a dog. YouTube channel is oh. Carrie Waltz. Yeah. Just go to YouTube and put Carrie Waltz, and then you get all the all the lovely. Here's your boat. You can practice painting boats. Anyway, oh, here's a great. This was one I was thinking of. This this is really really loose. Yeah, that is loosey goosey. Wet into wet sky. Uh huh. Gorgeous color. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And then you let it dry and you paint your little, uh, you know, wine. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
That was that was a good wine, and I remembered it because I painted it. Yeah. And then you know flowers. Oh, I like that one. Yeah. Mm. So, I mean, it's just, this was on a trip to Virginia, and it was my first experience, and I'd never been to Virginia, and I went with a friend who has a sister-in-law there, and that was, this was actually plein air out at the at Caligny Beach. Sometimes you find yourself in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of nowhere you find yourself. That's Hilton Head, Caligny Beach. But I like that. This guy has... You know, a, a nice variety of colors in it. Mm -hmm. You see the purples, the blues, yeah, I like that one. and uh, mm. and then these waves were kind of painted like the clouds that I showed you a minute ago. Have turn it this way mm -hmm. and paint in and save the white of the waves. Okay. Does that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Take pictures. Do whatever you need. I'm going to turn off the video, and then I will try to have them.